Hey guys! So, I had to wait a little bit because as you can see, I had some more skin tags hit with the cryo-freeze. Which, a couple days ago, whoo, did they look bad. They still look pretty, but they're doing much better. So, that's over. That's why it took me so long to actually record this, because I received my um, glam bag with my add-ons, finally. So, actually, hang on. So, as you know, I got my glam bag plus before, and I got my glam bag with add-ons on April 30th. But this was just utterly insane. It was so damn red. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm just not doing it. And they were really still hurting. We're now... They don't bother me. They're just a little, maybe a couple of them are sensitive, but not really. So again, got my glam bag. I want to, I have another video coming that's going to compare these to Birchbox because they challenged me with an ad and that was why I actually ended up getting both uh, subscriptions. I almost said prescriptions. So today in, and not today, in April's glam bag we have, which I'm sure many of you already have this, but we have the sample of the Hey Honey Boosted Up Honey Rich Moisturizer. I haven't used this because I'm, I'm very particular about what I put on my skin, especially with eczema. Same thing with this. I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably try this tonight and see how it goes. It's the Echo Lips Lip Food Nutrient Dense Organic Lip Balm. I find that for me, I'm safer with Vaseline and Aquaphor and they do an amazing job. So this I am curious about, but I don't want to use this. This is the Oh, it's the same brand as these. Okay, this is cool. So these are the same brand, and it's something bean. I don't know. I can't read it because it's in a, in a scripted font. So I already have these, which I used for today's makeup look, along with these guys and this. So basically a mix. Um, so I can't wait to try this because it's supposed to be a concealer brush and I'm very curious about the shape and all that fun stuff. So I'll be doing that in the Birchbox versus Ipsy video. Oh my god, my brain. So I'm going to put that away. I did end up using this right here which came in the bag as well. And this is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and as much as I hate the size of the wand, I actually liked this. I kind of wish that this would marry with the Victoria Beckham Future Lash because I love this wand. Although the wand could use a little tiny bit improvement. Um, I really like the size of the wand because it works with my short lashes. And here you can see this is actually three coats of this. I think that if I went in with this and maybe the Victoria or in with my uh, Essence Lash. Is it Essence? this right here, Lash Princess, I think I'd really have some volume into my lashes. But I wanted to just wear this alone and see what happens because I want to know if it'll flake. So pretty interesting. No, not a very interesting little bag. I'll be honest, the only thing that I really care about in here is the mascara and, oh, I forgot one other thing, and the um, mascara and the brush. I also did get this, which is from PYT. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to unwrap this in the Ipsy versus Birch box because challenged me when you challenge me I have to find out so in my add-ons I did get the Belle Argent Belle and Argent uh, nude intuitive vision eyeshadow palette sorry I got fingerprints all over it already cute packaging um, don't like the fact that these are on the back the names you do have them here as well on a little but I mean who keeps these you know so I ended up using a combination of, okay, so this all over the lid, this in the outer third or outer corner mixed in with a combination of this on the two thirds, well actually no, the middle of the lid, this on the outer side of the lid and this kind of like in the inner third and I liked it. It wasn't bad. I still kind of like the Tosca palette from nomad because I, I love how creamy those are but it's funny because these did feel creamy so I have to play with this a little bit more because I, I did like it I'm not saying I'm not and actually in to compare these three the nomad the the balm and this one I'd have to say this is last 
the Tosca is Nomad palette is to me by far the best out of the three. But what I was really bummed out with this one is there weren't any taupey shades in here. I mean, for it to be a neutral, supposedly neutral, neutral palette, especially with these beautiful tones right here, you know what I mean? I really wanted a taupey shade, not a camel color. So I was kind of bummed by that. I think this should really be a taupey, taupey shade. That would have been so nice, so nice. So I'm still on the hunt for a neutral, not cool tone, but you know, neutral tone palette, not a warm tone palette, because they're not my thing. So I do have that all over the lids. I, again, loved it. It was beautiful on my face. <laughs> I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y218, which isn't bad. This is very, very lightweight. I like the way that it feels. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin at all. And I mean, it's, it's really sheer. It's really, I took me one pump, one pump, and then one pump all over the, my face. So I did one pump on this side with a sponge, but I didn't put it on the sponge. I just dabbed it on my face and then tapped it out. And then I went in one pump on this side, this whole half, uh, with this little brush right here. And I had to tap it down with the sponge because it was too streaky. And I found that it was okay, but I wanted a little bit more coverage. So I went in a third pump with my fingers, spread it all around, and then just tapped it in with a sponge. And uh, I think I'm gonna try that way and see how it works in terms of using less than three pumps because that was quite a bit this is very watery but it's beautiful don't really like the way it's looking around my nose um i couldn't seem to get it to look pretty decent so it's kind of like looking really crusty right around here and it's just very makeupy right here and my other foundations don't really do that so like this one right here definitely doesn't do that <laughs> but it is a beautiful foundation it's definitely really pretty it is much lighter in sheerness um, compared to the Givenchy so if I was going to spend money I'd probably go this route but again this is really pretty really really pretty and then on the cheeks um, I got the Kaja Kaja what? Mocha Pop in number three, Spoils of Mars, and I was so scared that it was gonna be so damn red, which it is a little red, so, uh, well, berry red. So it's kind of like you, you know, just apply berry to your, to your cheeks, which again, great color payoff, and very, very pretty as it goes on, but I wanted it not to be so, because of the, I mean, come on, my eyeshadow? Yeah, no. So I went in with the other thing that I ordered, which was the Lottie London. I don't know what's up with this, but I found that kind of strange that it's doing that discoloration in between. I don't know if it's supposed to have an ombre effect like that, what I would call gradient, because design. Um, but I ended up putting this on top, and I like the combination. It's definitely pretty. And then on the lips, I have my absolute favorite. I actually love the color of these. These are the NYX. This is the Brooklyn Thorn. This is probably my favorite color uh, lip liner. But I love the formula of the Italia Deluxe. So I kind of wish that either this would have this formula or this would have this, this color. So I put this on, I outlined my lips with this because I didn't have any lipsticks that came with what I ordered. And I put the Revlon on. I put the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink in 001. And then I have a couple of other things that I ordered but I didn't put on because when I opened them I didn't really like the way that they looked. So rather than touch them and make them um, unsellable, I decided to go ahead and just leave them alone and show you guys. That's not my thing. I'm not into that type of... I don't even know what this is, but it's from Violet Voss. And it's called Pretty in Pink. I want to say that it's an eyeshadow topper. And that's just not my, my kind of color. I'm not a pink girl. Oh yeah, eyeshadow. So this is, I'm going to go ahead and sell. And then I got these because they looked a little different on Ipsy's website. This is the Nomad Toscana in Apertivo. Which is a, an intense eyeshadow. But doesn't look too intense to me. I mean, it's really pretty, but again, not not something that I would actually wear. And if I really want something like this, I can just go ahead and go into the Toscana palette 
and use that baby right there. So definitely going to be selling this little guy as well or giving it away, whichever ends up happening. And then I got the ah, I got the Nomad Sydney Bathers Balmoral Beach Kiss of Sun highlighter. And I don't know why, but for some reason I thought these were like a blush and a highlighter. When you're shopping late at night and you should be sleeping, you don't really pay attention to what you're buying. You just see, oh, Nomad. I like the Nomad palette, so I'm going to like whatever this is. Again, not really my thing. It's a little too peachy. I didn't swatch it. I didn't touch it because, again, I want to be able to sell it. Um, but it's a peachy highlighter. Not really champagne, more peach. And that just peaches don't usually look good on me when they're that strong so that's gonna go ahead and go on sale as well but that is what I ended up getting and then I also got these guys the dose of colors uh, meet your hue and the colors uh, I didn't try the 03 but I did swatch this and then I dipped in separately so that I wouldn't get it you know dirty contaminated and I didn't like the formula. I am kind of surprised that, and I'm really surprised to be saying this, seriously. I'm a little surprised that I actually find the NYX HD almost more pleasant to work with. It seems like this is a little similar to, I don't want to say the Haley's because that's really drying and kind of ugly, but it's just not as moisturizing as I'd like. And it's funny because I was talking to Harry makes it up and I asked her, I'm like, hey, you know, what What can I use that would be very moisturizing along the lines of these concealers? She personally loves Dior, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get my hands on Dior. But for now, I ended up ordering the small little sample of It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Not the illuminating. I got the regular because I want to see how it works. I want to see if it's not as shimmery because that's how I feel about the Becca. The Becca to me is a little bit too much shimmery. I mean, it's pretty, but you kind of have that like crazy ass glow that goes on, which is too much reflect in my opinion. So I actually have foundation in the inner corners, and then I went in with the Becca, and then I went in with the NYX HD, and I really do like it. I, I like the way that that's, that's looking. It's looking pretty good. So that's what I did. Um, I de again, definitely like this eyeshadow palette. I think it's really pretty. I just wish it had taupey shades instead of warm shades. Oh, and then I also went in for my bronzing with the Candy Paint Morning View because this is just, it's its beautiful. I, I love it. Definitely like this. I just have to figure out how to get it to look nice around my nose and hopefully use less with the same amount of coverage because that was interesting. Uh, what else? The Lottie is pretty. I don't think I'd wear it by itself um, because, again, it's a little too peachy for me. But I can use this, you know, on top of my cream blushes to kind of set them and that kind of stuff. So that's fine. And I definitely love this. This is absolutely beautiful. I only wish that this was more of a mauve -y tone, but it's what they had. And it's actually showing a lot brighter on camera than it really is. Oh, you know what? It's pretty much similar to the candy paint, I think, Velvet Tiger, but when it, oh, no, 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 now I see why. So again, it's showing brighter on screen, but this is kind of a berry mauve, whereas this is a nude mauve, and I really like this one. So I kind of wish that this was almost the same shade, but I still love this. It's absolutely beautiful. What was the other thing? Oh, and then I ended up getting this brush. These two brushes that I've gotten, that I've received in, in both my bags, I'm not impressed with. They're pretty, I mean, they're, they're bad. They're bad. And with this one, I didn't even use it. I just kind of like touched it. I, I think I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to give this away to somebody that might have a young girl who wants to play with makeup because that I was just not impressed. These I'm, I'm not, they're not as great as my rougher brushes, but they're, I would say similar to Real Tech just a little bit different. And uh, they're not bad, they're not bad to play with. I kind of like these a little bit more than say, oh actually, do I have any real tech? Yeah, I like these more than 
these. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that one, so I don't know. This one is supposed to be a concealer brush, but no, I use it for lining. I mean, come on. So yeah, these are really great brushes too, but again, my rougher brushes are what I love. They're my absolute go-to die-hard. Love them. Love, 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 love. And yeah, that's all that I've got. Let me know what you ended up getting in your boxes, what you did and didn't like, and what you think I should purchase more of because yes I'm digging the Nomad I just didn't like the shades that I picked up damn it <laughs> but I really do love this I mean it's pretty damn amazing I I really like the way that it looks and it doesn't look bad here it's just right in here that it looks really funky so I'm gonna have to play with that but that's what I've got hope you guys had fun or enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time bye